YouTube, what's going on, man? You locked in with Relly Fam, and I'm your one and only Relly. Man, look, today, 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 man, what I got for y'all today, I'm doing some stuffed shells. Beef stuffed shells. I ain't did these in a while. I've been craving them. You know, the wife been asking about them. People been asking about them. Hey, it's time to make them. It's a simple recipe, not too hard at all. So y'all ain't gonna wanna miss that. You know what I mean? So, oh yeah, by the way, I do appreciate all the support. I done finally made it to 250 subscribers and I know to y'all that may not be a lot, but to me that means something. That means y'all supporting the content and I truly, truly appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? So big shout out to all y'all, man. Big shout out to my subscribers. Big shout out to everybody who rocking with the fam. Big shout out to everybody that's put me on your people. Big shout out to everybody that's just loving the content. Big shout out if you follow me on TikTok because I got stuff going on over there too. If you follow me on Instagram, big shout out, man. You having a great day? Big shout out. Oh yeah, big shout out to my producer, producers. My producer, Fawn B. Knocking, and my producer, Rello Drugs on the beats, man. They keep me laced up with the fire. So shout out to them, you know what I mean, for doing their thing. If you do your, if you do your music thing and you need some beats, go to Instagram, check out Fawn B. Knocking, check out Rello Drugs, man. They got some fire beats, man. It's always pressure, you know what I mean? So, number love. With that being said, I ain't finna get too long with it, man. We gonna jump right into that video, so stay tuned, lock in, let's get it. My ingredient rundown, so I got two pounds of, two pounds of hamburger. We gonna use some turkey sausage. All right, we got our jumbo shells, Italian cheese, mozzarella cheese. We got some ricotta cheese and some Parmesan, some grated Parmesan cheese with our prego. It's gonna be quick, all right? We got our oven already preset at 350 degrees when we put it in there. We got our water already boiling. Now the reason my water look like that is because I put garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of salt in my water that I'ma boil my noodles in. You gotta have that flavor in there, you know what I'm saying? All right, we got our other pot over here. It's about ready. We are gonna go ahead and cook our sausage down and make our little mixture and we are finna get right to it. Baby, y'all stay tight. All right, so to kick things off first, we we're gonna start out cooking our hamburger and our sausage in the pan together. Get that going. I already had the water boiling for my noodles, my jumbo shell, so now we just get that going. Once my meat done cooking, I'ma season it with some Creole seasoning. No exact measurements though, I just season it to taste as always. Now I go in with some seasoning salt, same thing, season the taste. Then I hit it with that garlic powder, same thing. Season the taste. Then we go some slap your mama. Same thing. Season the taste. Man, everything gonna be seasoned the taste. I need to stop saying that. I'm sorry. I apologize. Then I go in with a half a bottle of Prego. Spaghetti sauce. It don't matter what flavor. Whatever flavor you like. Now we're gonna add our ricotta cheese and our mozzarella cheese and go ahead and mix that in until it's nicely blended, you feel me? All right, last but not least, I use my Parmesan cheese and I use my Italian fried cheese blend. I don't know if y'all know this is about me or not, but when I'm cooking anything like spaghetti or lasagna or anything like that, I feel like it should be exceptionally cheesy and I like cheese a lot, but Again, you can use the amount of cheese you feel like you should use in yours, but this is how I do mine. Once my large shells get done cooking, we're gonna drain them and get ready to prep them. All right, then I take that spaghetti sauce and my nine by 13 pan, I line the bottom of it with spaghetti sauce, that way the shells don't stick to the bottom and then we take the shells and we stuff it with that filling that we made earlier until they all stuffed and done. I 
right, so boom. Now that we got our shells all stuffed and lined up pretty, it's time to go bike on top of them with that shredded cheese. All right, so first we're gonna spread them with our triple cheddar mix. That's the first layer. Now we're just gonna finish it off with some mozzarella cheese because let's be honest, what would any type of dish that you're making that use spaghetti sauce be without mozzarella cheese? After you top that off in the oven, 350 degrees, 40 minutes until it's done. And when they all done, now you got yourself a masterpiece of cheesy stuffed shells. Thank me later. All right, fam. So y'all seen the finished the product. Y'all see how delicious it look. And I am super excited to try this thing out. Boy, let me tell you. Hey. So, without further ado, let's get straight to the money. All right, fam, so there we go. All right, she's still kind of hot, so. And it's money, and it's money, just like I know it was gonna be. But like I said, it's an easy recipe, so it ain't a lot to it, all right? But, super delicious super delicious so hope y'all like the video if you like the video you know the motto like the video if you didn't like it tell me what you didn't like about it is if anything if it's anything in the future that you want to see me make put it down in the comments and i'll try to get it done other than that it's time to roll out i'm hungry time to smash take care of yourself take care of each other we out